Hi guys, welcome back to GP Reactions. I hope you're well. I hope you're having a great day wherever you are. And as always, thanks to everybody who has subscribed. So I'm now going to be reacting to a track by William Bell and it's called A Tribute to a King. Uh, this was originally a B-side to a track, Every Man Ought to Have a Woman. Uh, I don't think it was ever released on an album. And it was released on the 29th of May 1968 and it peaked at number 31 in the UK. And the story behind this song is that William Bell was a friend of Otis Redding and on Friday he was seeing Otis Redding and then by the Sunday um, Otis Redding had uh, passed away tragically in an air accident um, flying over Lake Monona in Wisconsin um, his plane crashed and I think Andy's band were all killed, um, sadly. Um, uh, yeah, so Otis Redding actually died on December 10th, 1967 at the age of 26. Um, and it's crazy when you hear songs about people um, and then you kind of find out how old they were when they died and and it just it just kind of goes on to like how sort of tragic the circumstances were and obviously we've just come to the i think it's 10 years since uh, amy winehouse passed away as well at the age of 27 so um, a year's difference between the two um so yeah i'm really looking forward to this um i don't know too much about otis redding and i've never heard of william bell um, and this is a vinyl, um, a vinyl, a video of a vinyl record on a turntable. So I hope you guys enjoy, and I'm looking forward to hearing how this tribute um, plays out. So I'm just going to pause it there for two seconds. Um, I was actually kind of wondering, and it's just a question, how old um, William Bell was when he wrote this? Um, because, I mean, I'm guessing, you know, I mean, it's, it's less than uh, 12 months from when uh, when Otis, his friend, died. And it shows a hell of a, hell of a, uh, a lot of courage and uh, to... And creativity to um, come up with such a, a beautiful record and I'm guessing the words were just there and they just needed to flow but uh, all the same it just it's astonishing to me I mean I, I you know when I deal with grief it's you know I can't really and I never I've never turned it into anything kind of creative but um, you know these guys who write these songs it's just it's just magnificent how they can um, and even even from something as tragic as this, 
how they can, you know, put these lyrics down on paper and uh, have this um, their feelings um, produced and um, put out there for everyone else to hear. And um, and yeah, I mean, I was, gosh, I was, I was barely a year old myself when Otis Redding died. Um, I guess it would have been a big story if, if I had been about 10. I may have been a lot more aware of um, these people. I remember Elvis Stein when I was 10, but, um, you know, Otis Redding, I, I hear him talked about in such um, high esteem. And I've only, uh, sadly, I've, and I've really only heard one of his records. Um, yeah, so I, guys, I, like I said, I'm sorry to pause it here. I know some of you like to kind of hear the records all the way through. Um, but I will knock this back a few seconds. Oh, you the king of the king of the Memphis sound. It makes me feel so sad. Cause now he ain't around. He died with his guitar close to his hands. But his soul lives on today In the heart of a million fans Talking about Otis Otis Redding was his name Without his soul for singing This old world won't be the same Otis Otis Redding was his name The picture ought to be hung in the Music Hall of Fame Hold it He was known as Big O Hold it Ooh, We gonna miss him so Hold it Ooh, yeah We gonna miss Okay guys, that was William Bell and a tribute to a King. Um, sorry, that record ended really abruptly. I didn't expect that. I think it may have been intended to fade out. Um, just looking at this record, actually, whether this was um, an original. It it may be an original, 1968, uh, in which case it's perfectly natural for there to be a few little hops and jumps. Um, yeah, it, this was a wonderful tribute, but from a friend to a friend, about a friend. And um, I love these these older songs. They they got so much soul, and yeah, I know it's kind of an obvious thing to say, but um, you know, it's just the storytelling that these older um, musicians and uh, writers uh, had a way of just expressing not only just, uh, their uh, story about something, but their feelings attached to that story. But yeah, I, I love this and uh, I've never heard this before and it was a, a really sweet, heartfelt tribute to uh, to, a, to his friend. Uh, and that's really, I haven't really got too much to add to that. Um, so yeah, join me in the comments below if you know anything about William Bell. And, uh, and for sure, actually, if you know anything about Otis Redding as well, I would love to hear your thoughts and ideas and maybe a few suggestions of what I possibly could react to from either, either one. Um, and on that note, uh, I just want to say uh, thanks for tuning in and, um, and have a great day. It's, it's, if you're living in the UK, um, I really, really hope you're somewhere nice and you can get out and enjoy the sunshine, but don't get too sunburnt with it. Um, if you're not living in, in the UK, I just hope you're having a great day anyway. Um, and take care of yourselves and I'll speak to you soon.